Movement with a run scored. Mavericks have only scored two runs in the tournament. And those came in the eight inning victory against Troy. Carrion goes down swinging. Here's the one two pitch. Called strike three. So, second strikeout for Leanna Johnson, two down in the inning. 3 2. Called strike three. Leanna Johnson gets the strikeout. And this from a young lady who had only four hits the entire season coming into the tournament. And that's another base hit. Number nine hitter in the order is Logan Calhoun. Take a two out hit from her to get Thompson home. And they get it right up the middle. Thompson gets waved around third. Here comes the throw. It gets cut off. Troy on top, one nothing. Carry on with the team leading 29 strikeouts out of the leadoff spot. One, two. Got her again. Junior catcher out of Woodway, Texas. Played at Midway High School there. Came to UTA from McLennan Community College. 0-2, struck her out on three pitches. Blasting game, pumps her fist. One down in the inning. These Arlington hitters need to recognize it right out of the hand of blasting game. That ball looks like it's coming in so slow, so they really need to allow it to travel. 0-2, little number. Blasting game gets the job done and spikes the ball in the circle. Kinsey Ray blasting game comes in with the bases loaded and gets out of the jam. Kennedy Gayton, she struck out her first time up, socks that one to center field. Two balls, two strikes. Got her, another big strikeout. Blasting games had two of them since coming on for Leanna Johnson. No balls and two strikes. Ball is lined to right field and off of the right fielder's glove. It goes to the wall. Two runs are in. Here comes Gayton with the score. Webb scores, Sinis scores, and it's three to one. Bats with Hukel at first base and two outs, and this might do it. In the air, center fielder Sinis will take it, and Troy advances. A real battle with UT Arlington today. 21 runners left on base, but in the end, Troy survives with a 3-1 victory, Alex, over UT Arlington.